Welcome back to our Austin Case of the Month series. Feel free to comment below and I'll attempt to address any questions or concerns. This case was seen by the resident, Dr. Brooke Henderson, or attending, Dr. Mary Wormuth. This case starts with a 75-year-old male presented by a medic. Medic was called secondary to an acute onset of severe abdominal pain described as ripping. This pain started in his abdomen and radiated into his back. For medic, he was known to be bradycardic and hypotensive. Medic had given atropine and started a liter of normal saline. Upon arrival to the emergency department, he was in moderate distress with abdominal tenderness. The physicians noted him to be pale and diaphoretic. The patient's appearance and vital signs were a source of concern for the treatment team, and they utilized bedside ultrasound to evaluate his abdomen given his instability for more advanced testing. Here is one of the first images obtained. Given the label placed by the scanning physician, there shouldn't be a question about the structure being imaged. Take a second to look at this clip and interpret the image based on the presenting complaint. What I want to make sure is that everyone is able to correctly identify the aorta. The red highlight does not represent the entire aorta, just a lumen. This highlight represents the entire aorta in cross-section, with the physicians astutely identified and measured with the machine calipers. This aneurysmal dilation was approximately 8 centimeters, well beyond the 3 centimeter upper lumen of normal. It is very important to differentiate the two, since one would lead you to the diagnosis and the other to a false sense of reassurance. The physicians rotate the probe 90 degrees to visualize the aorta and long axis. Again, we need to make sure the entire aorta is appreciated and not just the obvious lumen. The aorta is the entire structure highlighted in red. This can be confusing if you haven't seen this before, and similar to other imaging modalities, details and scrutiny of the images matter. The appearance of the aorta represents an abdominal aortic aneurysm with a large amount of echogenic clot within the aneurysmal component. Additionally, Dr. Henderson was able to identify free fluid when including other components of a rush examination. Details of performing a rush examination were discussed in the June 2021 video. Within minutes of arrival, the physicians were able to identify the emergent pathologic process. This identification allowed a frank discussion with the patient who was able to express his desire to avoid blood products based on religious preference. Vascular surgery had been consulted upon identification of the suspected ruptured aortic aneurysm yet he was not a surgical candidate given his unstable presentation along with his desire to avoid blood products. His abdomen became increasingly distended with worsening of his vital sign abnormalities. The patient was transitioned to comfort measures and unfortunately passed away in the emergency department. I decided to present this case not because ultrasound led to identification of pathology that led to an intervention that saved the patient. Instead, ultrasound was able to identify the cause of the patient's symptoms. This knowledge led to a realistic discussion with the patient and goals of care were able to be clarified before he clinically decompensated. This type of information is invaluable for the bedside clinician in order to provide the very best care for our patients, one that respects and aligns with his or her treatment goals. More information concerning an undifferentiated presentation is universally helpful, even if that only means faster and more appropriate discussions concerning prognosis and potential transition to comfort measures in an expedited manner. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment below with any questions or concerns.